Hey there, this is Land of the Comedian Medium, and I am bringing you your Taurus Gemini readings, cusp general reading for September of 2020. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading or hypnosis or whatever I do. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Please um, visit on the link below, um, enchantedsky.com. You can book a reading. Um, these readings are really general um, and they're used with tarot cards. I am a medium. I connect to your family members and give you a reading that way. So if you want it more exact, I heard some couple of people say it's so general. I'm sorry, but I'm reading for a very large amount of people. I also guarantee my readings. If you don't like what you I said to you or you don't think it was accurate, I'll give you your money back. And I think I've only given my money back three times and I've probably done 20,000 of these. So um, that's a pretty good odd, I guess. Well, anyway, with that said, as I'm shuffling, um, oh yeah, visit 216 The Net and also my own podcast now. Um, it's appearing on my Facebook. It's appearing on YouTube. Um, it's called Metaphysical Meanderings. It's only a half an hour and I'm teaching you something. Last week I taught you how to use psychometry, which is the art of reading objects. So with that said, um, we're going to get on with this. Uh, here's your joke. Joke for the day. Okay. What does the pirate say when he turns 80? I matey. <laughs> I know it's stupid, but I laughed. If I laugh at them, I do. And thank you for everybody that's been sending me jokes because some of them are, they're just so silly that they're hilarious. And I go, oh, really? <laughs> you know, it's something like, you know, I want them clean so I don't make anything, you know, like I can, t I, I, I'll laugh at a dirty joke too, but I really don't want to put those on here. So, all right. So let's see what we get. My Gemini, a uh, very good friend of mine, is a Gemini. She is almost a cusp, and she says these cusps work for her. So let's see. Because remember, this is a, a Taurus Gemini. So it's a Taurus, a Taurus reading, going into Gemini. So if you're just a Taurus, read this reading. So, okay. And it is accurate. Now, not always, because sometimes you need your moon sign or your rising sign. Okay. You're going away from something. I'm not quite sure what that is. Okay, so you did some spiritual growth in the last few months. And you're the queen of all things. I mean, you're the, you know, that this is the ultimate female, but the ultimate female energy. It's creative. It's artistic. It's gardening. It's, you know, you did something where you are growing spiritually because I like seeing the, 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 the hermit card because the hermit card says, there's a spirituality about what you've been doing and as you're growing. Now, there you had sat with something. You sat somehow. And I'm not quite sure what that means, but you maybe you needed a little bit of time off to just get your, your mind together. I noticed that a lot of people are telling me that everybody's having such vivid dreams now. Well, we're growing and evolving as humans, but also a lot of us have slowed our life down. Now, in a reading that I just did recently of a man who died of COVID and I'm a medium and I was reading for somebody. I did not know what they died of. I just know that I couldn't breathe. And then she told me it was uh, um, COVID that he said, the reason that they're doing this is spirituality because people are so greedy and that people could need to quit being so greedy, but also to slow us down a little. We're going a million miles an hour. Slow down. You can't get your messages. You can't do your, your spiritual growth, if you're you're going and you can't stop and think. So with the, you also had a message of something. You had a message, somebody telling you something to do with all of this involved. And like I said, you know, I want to say it's a spiritual message. But anyway, um, now the month of September, they're telling you to watch your money. That there might be a something that's coming up or you are watching your money and you're kind of being careful with it. You're trying to build your build your fortune, you know. Um, I want to say you're just here. You're still just kind of in limbo about something. You're not quite sure which way to go. Okay. Now, if I if I were to look at this. There's money involved because there's a Taurus involved in the, all of this. But um, and Taurus is money. I mean, that's the money card. But I also want to say 
you're getting rid of something or you're adding something or someone. Now there could this could be a party that or get together you're having in September. But this could also be a, a love triangle. Um now this is money. This is your wealth that you're adding to. You're adding to your wealth this month somehow. Because there is a message of money coming of some sort. Somebody is bringing, when I see this one, I see someone's bringing you, a, you money, all right, through opportunity, okay? And it's coming to you carefully and methodically thought out, okay? Now, there is a queen of wands, which is a fire sign involved. That's Aries, uh, Aries Leo, or Sag, and it also could be the woman of your dreams or the man of dreams. But because if the, if the man raises kids and he's very fatherly, this could be this queen of wands could be that for that, too. Now, I want to say one thing, though. I, when I see two cards like this, like that, there is a twin flame relationship going on. Because this is a fire. They're both fire signs. You see how they're looking at each other? They're a power couple, okay? There's an opportunity to here to make some massive money because we got to have money in this lifetime, right? But at the same point, money's not everything, but when you have the right energy, it flows. And this person coming in or this person that's involved in this month is very much a twin flame. Now, People that don't understand what twin flames are. If you don't understand this, you know, it's your ultimate relationship. It's the person you probably were supposed to be with the whole time and they keep presenting themselves. Or here they, they appeared into your life and you're they're making you choose and you can't decide. Are you going through a, a divorce? Are you are they giving you an offer you can't make your mind up? Because here you sit doing nothing about it and they're almost forcing you to. I do know that you are walking away from something or, well, rowing away from something, I guess you should say. You're going away from a, a from something that's kind of drug you down and you see how they're down and out and we're, they're leaving to something much grander. And remember I said that this is the, this is the year of karma. You are going to get your karma, okay? Let me see what I get. You know, if you've been a good person, you better not turn anything down because it was meant for you. And we're getting farther and farther out of 2020, thank God. And, um, but whatever you do and whatever decisions you make this year is going to follow you for seven years. So just remember that, okay? There was a spiritual union. Like I said, there was some type of, there's something going on here. There's something. And I find this interesting that, look at, these are the same card. And this could be just a party, a get together, a celebration, okay? All right? Um, it also could mean a, a, a um, it also could mean a third party. <laughs> okay. So, cause here, look at there's temptation. <laughs> so maybe you found your twin flame and you're like, I, I think I need to get out of this relationship maybe, or I need to get out of this job because he offered me a job and we're a power couple. It's going to work. You know, it, you know, when you have your twin flame, I'm going to tell you right now also, it doesn't, it could be, they could be the same sex. They could be a family member. It doesn't have to be your ultimate, like, lover. It's, it's, it, I've seen uh, son and, and mother be twin flames. They're working a business. They're, they're ultimate, you know, they get, you know, they're in a very good situation where one feeds off the other and they're each other's compliment. And, you know, um, the mother is married to the dad and you know what I'm saying? The, the son's got them. You know, it's not like that. I mean, they love each other. It's the son and mother and son, but it's not a romantic thing, of course. So, all right. Use your intuition. You need to use your intuition on this because it's telling you what to do because you're going to uh, 
overcome your obstacles and your challenges, okay? And firm foundation, you got this. You got this, okay? With that said, this is Land of the Comedian Medium, and I am hoping that I will be back in a day or two. I've been trying really hard to come back every two days. So blessings to all of you, and please hit like and subscribe and visit my podcast. Blessings to all of you.